Hi everybody, we're playing Warframe, and today we're going to build a Zor. But first of all, I just wanted to pick up my new Revenant Prime. Let's build this one. I'll equip it and do some colorization. There we go, that looks pretty sweet. Alright. Let's take a look at building the Zor. So, um, I got some pieces from the Knights of Nabarus event. Uh, I built the Basmu. Also built the Seti Lacera from Knights of Nabarus. I built the Maya as well. But more importantly, I've built the uh, plague pieces, which are Zor pieces. I have the one-handed grip, two-handed grip, the staff head strike, and the pole arm strike. So to build a Zor, we need to go to Cetus. Fast travel to Hock. And Hock is the Zor vendor. Ah, Sora, enjoy as always. So we can browse the wares and buy pieces, or we can forge a Zor here. We equip a strike that we've built. We use the plague crip path. Very good, very good. We can equip a grip. I'm going to use the Plague Bokwin. And lastly we need to equip a Link. There's lots of various types of Links. They all have different stats. Speed and status chance. They shall work wonderfully. The speed and status chance looks good to me. So that link is not uh, not built yet, so I need to buy it. And I need to build it. So let's do that. I go to the browse wares. I find the Equana Chai Two. I purchase this one. That's 10,000 standing points. Once we have the blueprint, we have to go back to the ship and we need to build it with these resources. Both of the Eidolon, Aroxium Alloy, Condor Queen, and Citizen. Keep swinging until they're more red than, well, anything else. Remember, Hawk has new specials every day. Okay, let's go to Old Man Samba. He's the mining guy. The trick to doing the impossible. And he will sell a blueprint for the uh, Aroxium alloy. 7,500 standing points. Prove everyone wrong, kid. Get lucky, huh? Now we can go back to the ship and build these pieces. To the foundry. So the Equana Jaya 2. So it requires Breath of the Eidolon, which we can get from Cetus Bounty. And Oroxium Alloy. So we've got the blueprint for that one. So we can build this one. Alright, let's go and do the bounty for the Breath of the Eidolon. And I believe it's the fifth bounty. Here we go, it's got a common reward, five Breath of the Eidolon. 
it's a high level um, bounty, so take a good warframe and a good weapon. One more off the docket, hop to. Let's have a go. Plains living is tough living. Grenier are finding that out the hard way. Let's make them find out a little faster. Cut off their supplies. The drone is nearby. Find it and hack it. Let's activate the drone. That's it. The drone is under our control now. Escort it to the extraction point before the enemy can destroy it. More Grenier inbound. Don't let them harm the drone. Well, it's strange to me to see an Eximus Rolly Wolf. <laughs> Uber Warrior Ball. Certainly have plenty of Eximus around. There's a level 40 to 60 mission, I guess. Long times five. We got a ribbon sliver too. The commander in charge of this detachment is hiding somewhere near my waypoint. I'm just gonna leave and eliminate them. I get to keep the uh, stage one reward. There we go. I lose my ribbon sliver, but you know, I get the breath of the Eidolon times five, which is all I really need. 
Now we can go and build some more. Quina Joy 2. Okay, so we need the Oroxium alloy. Should be built by now. And Breath of the Eidolon. Here's the location also for Condrock wings and Cetus wisps. You can find them both on the plains of Eidolon. The Cetus wisps you can find around the edge of the lake if you fly around the edge. Okay, let's collect that one. And now we have all the pieces we need for the Zor. We can go back to Hock on Cetus. No, Pedlick, I will not be attending your poetry recital. Hawk would rather get the plate in his head than collect the magnets. Okay, select the strike. Very good, select the grip. Very good. And select the link. A most astute choice. And now we can build it for 4,000 credits. Your weapons slot. Not too done. shabby. Bad leg helped with some of the smaller touches, so my apologies if it falls apart in your hands. Now there's all you need to rank up to level 30 before you can come back here and guild it. So if we browse the wares here, we can peruse the strikes. See what strike types we have. Dagger and staff style weapons. Lightweight to increase speed. Sword and staff style weapon. Machete and polearm style. Heavyweight increases damage at the cost of speed. Rapier and polearm style weapons. Lightweight increases speed. Sword and polearm weapon. Heavyweight increases damage. Machete and polearm weapon. Nikana and Staff Weapons, Steady Blade for Steady Hands. Machete and Hammer Weapons, Measure Twice, Strike Once, Heavily. And Scythe and Heavy Blade Weapons, Lightweight for Flash and Bite. Let's look at the grips. We have a selection of grips we can choose from. Sword, Machete and Rapier, Dagger Style Weapons, Lightweight. Staff and polearm style weapons for lightweight, increasing speed. Sword, machete and rapier and dagger style weapons. Staff and polearm style weapon. Sword, machete, rapier and dagger style weapons. Heavyweight. Staff and polearm style weapons. Heavyweight for increased damage. Grip. Now, two handed grip. Let's take a look at the links. There's plenty of links to choose from. Now, they'll all give you different stats. So this one increases damage, this one increases speed, this one increases damage, this one increases speed. This one increases damage and critical chance. Damage and status chance. Speed and critical chance. Speed and status chance. Two links, damage and critical chance. Damage and status chance. Let's 
speed and critical chance. Speed and status chance. Damage and critical chance. Damage and status chance. Speed and critical chance. And finally, speed and status chance. Rank 2. Alright, so that's all the links. And lastly, we can take a look at the arcanes. Look on heavy attack, uh, plus 5 energy for 4 seconds, plus 200% additional combo count chance. On a finisher kill, 50% chance for plus 30 life steal over 8 seconds, 50% additional combo counter chance, 50% chance to pull enemies within 12 meters into melee range. On status effect, 50% chance to deal 200 weapon damage to enemies within 6 meters. Really? Okay. Step into the winner's circle occasionally, friend. We'd love to have you. And lastly, in other services, we have the gilding on the left here. Name and enhance a Zor's status. Mastery XP can only be obtained from gilded Zors. So we need to guild it first and then rank it up to 30 one more time to get the mastery XP. Uh, exchange is all for Ostron standing. And you can rename the weapon with uh, 15 platinum. And that's it guys. Let's go back to the ship now and I can take a look at the Zor that I built. Made from the plague parts from the Knights of Nevorus. Let's equip it. Here it is. On the top right you can see the link, grip and strike that I used. Looks pretty cool. Got some kind of toxic gas coming out of it. <laughs> it does viral damage. So uh, we can put some basic mods on here to get started. So I might put a primed pressure point on there for melee damage, just straight damage. And I can throw a stance on there as well. I might go with Bleeding Willow, blend of strong and rapid strikes and leaping combos. It's got the right polarity. You can rank that right up to five. Your collection of mods is impressive, operator. And I've still got eleven points to spend. Put another damage mod on here somewhere. Relentless combination. Do have lots of slash damage on this weapon, so I can use that. And that's the end of the Zor build, guys. Thanks for watching. Click like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.